Hi there, it's Lou here, That Yacht Girl, and today I am super excited to be doing a walkthrough of this Axopar 37 Suntop. Axopar is a brand that I've loved since I first saw them on the water some years ago now. I think they're a great combination of go anywhere, adventure vehicle, and also with enough creature comforts to keep everyone happy. This is a 2020 37 Axopar Suntop, which means you have the extended roof on it, the sunroof opening. This is also a Brabus edition, so it comes with a few extra bells and whistles there as well. So please join me for the walkthrough tour of this Axopar 37 Suntop. So let's start by taking a look at the exterior of the boat. I've always loved the really long, lean lines of an Axo Par, and the 37 Sun Top is no exception to that. To begin with, you can see that large rub rail. Super practical if you're looking at this as a yacht tender or just pulling up alongside. And then, of course, that really sharp bow that was an Axo Par trademark. Beautiful, clean design. Then we go down to the hull shape, and these are a stepped hull. So you're getting extra performance, ability, economy. They're a great performing hull and they're, they've got a reputation for being able to go anywhere in just about anything. This is a really great boat for handling all sorts of sea conditions in. Let's move down the side of the boat now. And you can see the entertaining area on the bow, which of course can be covered with a large sunshade all the way out to the corner of those seats there and there is a table that can pop in there as well. Of course the stainless steel anchor and your bow locker with the windlass, the wraparound windshield on this boat and you can enclose this this sun top if you wanted to. The current owner hasn't done that and I think for Florida weather you probably don't really need to do that. You can see the sun top area there. This owner has a cover on it, which I think is a great idea for Florida as well, because of course the climate here is a little bit tough on boats and of course your Garmin radar, searchlight and the horn. The cockpit area there. And then around to the rear of the boat with the swim platforms off the back and your swim ladder. And of course the twin Mercury outboards, these are the 300 V8s. So that's a very, very popular option as well. So as the great Julie Andrews once sang, let's start at the very beginning. Here we are at the, up at the bow of the Axopar 37 Suntop. You see you've got your anchor up there. It's a stainless steel anchor with these extra rails here done in the black with the Brabus edition. Of course, under this hatch, you have a large anchor locker, actually, that's really surprisingly big. You've got your anchor chain in there and the windlass. And I thought I would show some other interesting features here. This is an interesting interesting way of doing this. They have the shore power uh, connector here at the bow of the boat. So that's something a little bit unusual. You often find those at the stern. Here we've got some locker for fenders in this situation. There's a table leg down there because you do have an extra table that fits into this bow area here in this little seating area. And you can see down there as well the inverter. If we close that down and come around behind us, you can see the window into the forward part of the cabin. But I found this feature really interesting. It has a fold up hatch here going through to the cabin also. So that may be an emergency escape, but it is fantastic for ventilation. So I think you could prop that open and really get some fresh air flowing through that cabin, cabin area. And with that down, we have a great sun pad area here as well. The bow also has a sunshade. We can see the holes here for the sunshade. So this whole area can be covered in the sunshade from the top of that, that sun top there. And if we step up onto here, you can see the top of the sunroof and of course the Garmin radar and searchlight. And this is actually a protective cover that this owner has installed over the sunroof. So it keeps all the fabric in great condition. Obviously the Florida weather can be a little bit harsh on boats, but this one will be in great condition. And there you can see that large wraparound windshield. 
So let's step on down the starboard side of the boat. You can see we've got treads here on the side, more cleats, and also that railing goes all the way down the side. So there's plenty of things to grab onto when you're underway. And let's go to the helm. So the helm is under the hard top here, as you can see. And if we have a look at that sunroof quickly, you can see how big that is. It really will open up to expose all of this to sun or my personal favorite in the evenings, opening everything up and enjoying the stars and just the open, open feel of the boat. So at the helm, we have everything you'd expect to see here. We've got twin Garmin touch screens. Your Mercury screen is in the center. I love the way they still have the switches like this because frankly, when the boat's underway, they're a lot easier to use. Now you will notice here, we don't have a joystick controller, but you've got your twin engine controls and you have a side power bow thruster and also the searchlight switch there as well and your tab control. The radio, of course, this is full Garmin setup. So you've got the Garmin radio, you've got the Garmin radar screens and sonar. And now looking at the helm itself, you can see we've got three seats across here and the bravest edition comes in this gorgeous blue color or oh, it was an option, which I personally love this color combination. This is right up my alley. So we have fold up seats, of course, here, and you can see what I did with the third seat there. I've shown how that spins around so that all of this can face backward and create a fantastic living area as well when you're entertaining. I thought I would show another interesting feature of the boat as well. Down below the helm here, you've got access to your tanks or tank. So now we are down in the cabin area. And as you can see, this is a great walk around style cabin. You have a double bed forward there, which has that large hatch that I showed you on the foredeck. So you can really open this up for some great ventilation. You've got a privacy curtain there for that forward bed also. And of course, drop down blinds here on the side for a bit of extra privacy and some more ventilation there through those port lights. Storage over to the right there. Under this bench seat here is an electric flush toilet. You can see you've got your breaker panel there and the battery switch for the bow thruster. And here is a little cabinet unit. Let's climb on in here. That unit there has a sink in the top and some storage underneath also. So they've kept things nice and simple down here as well. I love the style of this. You can see this owner's equipped the floor, these mats here as well for some extra protection on the wooden floor. The very messy handbag does not come with this boat. That is an optional extra. And, uh, oh, and the cool skylight up there. Don't forget that too. So there's plenty of light down here. It's really a nice bright area. There's your refrigeration drawer tucked up there. There is another one over that side as well. And you can see all the way through there to the storage at the back of the boat. So it's got a huge storage area that runs through underneath the cockpit of the boat. But I love that easy access to both the fridges and also that tank. And we would actually find the same underneath the forward berth as well. There is access to your water tanks. So let's come around now to the main cockpit area. Now, as I showed before, we have this seat here that I've turned around. So all of these seats do that, which means you would have really comfortable seating here for seven people. And this table folds out and also raises and lowers. You've got some storage underneath there. And I really love this. I think this is something that really shows what Axopar is all about. They've got a protective cover over your battery switches here, but they've kept it really simple there's nothing that's ever going to break with that is there it's just i think it's beautiful simplistic design at its best so around underneath the helm seats you can see we've got two dometic drawer fridges there you can see the table legs that raise and lower and this table that will fold out and create a really lovely dining area storage is also everywhere on this boat so down here on both sides, we've got two large storage lockers. And 
as we walk down to the back of the boat, I've already got some of this open. On this side, we've got a nice storage locker, which we've got a couple of fenders in. You can see here, obviously, the deck shower. Rod holder. The speaker package, of course, is there. It's got a great sound system on it. And then back here, this is the rear access to that large storage area that I showed that went through to right up underneath the helm. So you could put some really long fishing rods in there if you wanted to, or water toys, etc. And there's two of these lockers, both sides here are covered with those. So let's pop that one down. On the other side of the stern, you've actually got a live well here. So this boat is set up for some fishing action as well. Um, so we've got the live well there, which you can see this owner is using for some fenders. But at the top of the sun top there, you can see we've got the rod holders. So this boat really is equipped to go out and do some, some day fishing. And the rear bar on this boat is huge and beautifully simple again in design. It's got a protective cover that folds down over that, but you've got these large areas here for chopping boards or mixing drinks or putting lunch out. Great storage on both sides and of course a fridge there as well. And on the transom, we have these extra jump seats. So these were an option. And when those are down, you get three extra seats out here which is great if you're fishing or just underway with a bunch of friends and they want to take a comfy seat. So it's a hot old day out here, but I have thoroughly loved having a look through this Axopar 37 Suntop. Everything I've seen here makes me love the brand even more. I think they have a really unique blend of raw functionality, great design, and everything you need, nothing you don't. And that's something to me that really appeals in a boat. If you'd like to come and see this boat, contact me below. It is available right now through the Helm Yacht Group and myself. All my contacts are below or DM me through your favourite social media channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Have a great day. Hopefully you are spending this hot Florida day out in the water and having a great time.